Alright folks, welcome back again. Um, today I'm going to go over making a double walled piece. Um, this is pretty much just for decoration ideas. Um, so I can't really explain it too much. You just have to use your imagination on to what you can do with it. And I'll show you some examples of what I've done with this technique. So first, I find it easiest if I flatten the top of my clay when I have it centered. Now I'm going to add my hole in the center. And now I'm going to go to the side of the center. And I'm going to go down. I'm going to try and keep focused on keeping that straight. Your thumb is going to have a tendency to either come out away from the center or go further in towards the center. So you really want to focus on trying to keep your thumb straight or whatever you use to make this cross. So now that I have that trough and the inside done, I'm going to pull this inside cylinder. I'm going to open up a little bit. I'm going to weasel my fingers down in here and I'm going to pull this cylinder up. Here's a little fun fact. You can actually take this basic shape here, pull this out a little more so it's a tray and make a nice chicken cooker. Very simple but makes good chicken. You pour some coke or a beer or something in here Put the whole chicken on top of that and put it in your oven and it cooks and all the juices end up in the trough. Very good. But I'm not making that today. Keep pulling this till I get my ideal thickness of a quarter of an inch to an eighth of an inch. So that's pretty good. Now that I have that pulled, I'm going to pull my outside cylinder. And you just have to go slow, you have to be delicate. It's actually easier if you use slip instead of water to throw with at this point. Because you don't really want to get any water in this trough because it's a pain to get back out. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to go back to the inside cylinder, and this is the hard part, at least for me, because I'm used to throwing with two hands, one on the inside and one on the out. What I'm doing is I'm actually going to be pushing out the shape on the inside very gently, very slowly, which I'm sure you can't really see because it's hidden behind this. But what I'm doing is I'm just widening out that inside shape. Now that I'm pretty close, this wall is pretty close to this wall, I'd say it's about half an inch, I'm going to start to join them. So get my fingers wet, and I'm going to slowly pull this and push it, push the outside wall to the inside. And you'll see right here. You just have to go slow, 
and be delicate because it's going to start to catch. Don't panic. That's what we want. Just hold steady and keep going slow until finally we get a nice connection. Right there. So now we have a hollow point in here, which is what we want. Now there's nothing fancy to this right now. I could leave this as it is and it'll look like it's super thick and heavy, but in actuality it's going to be feather light. And I can take this excess and do something fancy with it, or I can cut it off. That's all up to you. But one important thing to remember is that since we have a pocket of air in here, and then this is going to shrink as it dries, we need to give that air somewhere to go. So I'm going to poke a little hole in there so that when that shrinks, it's not going to crack the seam out. And for an example, let me grab one of my pieces here that I've already carved. Okay. All right, so here's one of my carved pieces. That's a double wall piece with a little lid. You can see on the inside here, maybe, I don't know. Um, it's solid, but on the outside I've carved this crazy pattern that takes hours and hours. And you can see right here what I'm talking about. So it makes for some pretty cool design ideas. Um, go ahead and give it a try. Just don't be sad when you break it. <laughs> um, you might have to adapt your design like I had to do, for crying out loud. Um, hours and hours and holy crap I just broke aside and oh wonderful but it can be pretty rewarding so give it a try I hope that all made sense and thanks for watching